All right, people, I'm back. I've got the uh, W. Oh, wow, a really fast. Yeah. What's up, people? Talk to you back with another Sharon story. Got some goodies in the mail or from FedEx. Um, I got this WSD cam, um, basically a bike alarm. Um, I'm gonna be installing this on the Suron. Um, it's basically just a deterrent. It um, you know keep people from messing with your bike or attempting to steal your bike. This is everything that comes in the case or in the box. Um, this is the actual alarm unit here. Let's get that out. All right, that's how you drop everything. One second here. Uh, need three hands. All right, back. Sorry. Uh, this is the actual unit. Um, I was ex expecting like this airy plastic, you know, kind of deal. It's actually kind of solid. Um, this is the remote, basic remote, like any car alarm. You get your lock, unlock. I believe this is to change the. Uh, siren tone and then this is your panic button basically a little remote so you know solid for what it is for under 20 bucks i can't say you can't beat that um in the case i don't know where that grass just came from um you get a screwdriver um i'm guessing for this bottom screw down here i believe that's how you replace the battery so it'll give you a cool little screwdriver to fit in case you don't have one some zip ties for installation purposes see these little holes here i guess you can zip tie it or you have these stickies here right here which they actually it looks like they put these indentions here on the back so they, i guess they fit kind of flush which is pretty cool I'm not sure how I'm going to install them. I got to figure out a place to actually put the alarm on the bike. I've been kind of brainstorming that, but once I figure it out, I'll get it all mocked up and uh, show you guys how this thing works. Pretty excited. So, until then, I'll be back with you. Okay, folks, I'm back. Got the WSD cam bike alarm out of the packaging. I did kind of bring it outside. This thing is pretty loud at 113 decibels. It kind of bounces that sound up off your ears pretty good inside. Uh, once again, here you go. You have the alarm. I haven't put it on yet. I don't think I should exactly show people where I'm going to put it. I don't know. I'll make a decision by the end of this video. But anyways, here's lock. Okay. So once you have it locked, the... Uh, oh, shit. Shoot. The geo sensor is uh, activated. So if you move it. All right, and then if I move it again, there we go. And you're gonna hit unlock. Takes it off. This button right here, uh, the little lightning looking thing allows you to change the tones of what you want your alarm to be. And this one right here is your little panic button. Boom. So pretty simple, straightforward. I'm gonna go ahead and get it installed on the bike and I'll be right back with you, gang. All right, so I decided I'd go ahead and show you guys where I put mine because it really, really wasn't very many places to fit it because of the size. I was gonna try to get it here on the side of the little battery cap thing, but it didn't really work. So I found this previously unuseful piece of metal <laughs> that used to be connected here, but uh, when you install the seat risers, you gotta take this out of here and it kind of just sits there uselessly. But I have now found a use for it. I simply zip tied the actual alarm module to this little flappy piece of metal that sits directly behind your battery. And it actually sits in there pretty clean. I like it. So that's where I put mine. If you have any other ideas, man, show me. Tell me what you did, man. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and get everything buttoned back up here and uh, see how this thing works and sounds with the bike fully put back together get on there buddy get my breaker on hey Luna when you gonna get some seats who could use a seat <laughs> all right there we go all right now we have a WSD cam alarm protected Siron 
see it up in there sitting nice and pretty on the little bracket. Actually looks pretty natural. Lock it up. Oh, that's pimping. That is pimping. Don't mess with my bike, punks. I'm gonna be doing GPS too. I'll do a video later about that and what exactly I do with that. But this is basically just the second line of defense if you have to leave your bike anywhere in the public. Of course, always you know keep a good lock with you so you can lock it to something then you have this so if you have that dillweed that wants to come mess with your bike you know it'll start screaming and making noise and maybe his dillweed self will go about his dillweed business and leave your bike alone well that's about that for that wsd cam man under 20 bucks i say it's a good value we out